Here is some some of the tools I use to catch kokanee. This is a Minn Kota and there's different ways you can control that. I can control it with the foot pedal but I leave the foot pedal at home. Another way is through my hummingbird fish finder. Another way they have an app that goes on your phone you can use that app or the remote which I use most of the time. And so we're going to deploy it. And to deploy it I hit this button twice and it goes up to start the prop I hit that prop button then I increase the speed let's turn it right there you turn it right or left and we're going to increase the speed and up to five and then the, then we want to put it on autopilot and I hit that button right there it's touch screen and autopilot now it's going to keep us going straight Then I use the kicker motor to push it and the Minn Kota does all the steering. To control the speed on the kicker motor, we have an eye troll. which has several programs on it which we can change the speed right now it's in hunt mode and it will cut the speed increase it or if we want to if we catch a big fish I hit this idle button and that will slow it down to what the speed of the Minn Kota will Pull it, and we want to increase the speed. We go back up, it's in hunt program right now. And if I wanted to go faster, if I see a bunch of fish on my fish finder, I can push that max in, and it's going to increase my speed. And then I let go of it, and if I want to slow it down, go back to idle. We hit our idle button. Then we go back into our hunt program. I hit that idle again, and now it's back in. And by changing speeds, you can create strikes on fish. I have my fish finder which is a Solex it's a 15 inch we have the 360 screen displayed also we have a split screen I have a and I have it linked to an onyx which has my map and if I want to see any other screen I can but I just mostly leave this on map so I have four downriggers which I would think is probably the 
Number one thing to catching kokanee is downriggers. I have, I only have one pole out there fishing right now. The other pole, I'm looking for kokanee, it has a camera on it. And then <coughs> we have a temperature gauge right here. I'll pull this over. Over to this fish hawk right there. So we're going to put it down. And you can see it takes a few minutes. I use Scotty clips, and I have a, a long leader here. Okay, that's down, it says 35 feet. We're looking over here. And it says we're down 33 feet. The temperature, the surface temperature is 63.4 and down 33 feet, the temperature is 56. Now kokanee, we know, like 52 degree water. And so we'll, we'll let this down a little bit more and we'll see what the temperature is there. It takes, takes a few minutes. And there we go, it's like 53. And so we'll go down to like two more feet. And so we're getting close to the range of where the kokanee are at. And so the one thing, the first thing I'll do is I'll put a downrigger right there to catch kokanee. Just start out and, and then we adjust it. But those are the tools I have. So the fish finder. I've been looking for kokanee all day and they've moved. I have no idea where they're at. They're, it's after September 10th. You can't really catch them. If you do catch one, you need to put it back. And what you're looking at right here, they're cutthroats. That could be a kokanee right there because there's a whole bunch together. But I don't have any lures on that will catch them. I only have one down and... I don't want to catch kokanee, so I don't put anything on that I think will catch a kokanee. <clears throat> the wind's getting really choppy, so I'm getting off. Just one more look at my boat. The kicker is this uh, Suzuki. It's fuel injection, it starts so fast, it has a really a good alternator. I had a Mercury, but the alternator wasn't very good. 
it, that wouldn't keep up with all of the electronics I have on the boat. One last look at our fish finder. Today I was catching cutthroats down at 41 feet. That seemed to be the best. I did quite well. The downrigger balls I have, the clips I use for Scotties. I have an 18 inch leader on that one and this other one it's probably about 24 inch. I don't like anything shorter than 18 inch on a liter. These are the two cameras I had down. The one's a water wolf. The other one is a spido. The spido doesn't open up. Every, as soon as you put it in the water, it turns on. But it costs a hundred dollars more than the water wolf. And we'll see today which one has the best picture. It was late last summer, I was floating the river down through town, feeling like my luck would never change, for I'd been so lonely, watching all of those other happy guys, hooking up while I felt only pain, when out of nowhere came the prettiest flash of red and gold. A finer set of spots has never swung And when she swallowed my line I knew she wasn't just another fish in the sea Oh, finally I had found my only one Little Miss Cutthroat You're the queen of my drift boat You swam into my life today Straight out of the blue Little Miss Cutthroat My Yellowstone Gazing into each other's eyes Walking in the rain Hand in fin She was pulling my heartstrings I figured she was just playing hard to get And soon enough we'd both be falling in A little Miss Cutthroat You're the queen of my drift boat You swam into my life today Straight out of the blue Little Miss Cutthroat, my Yellowstone dreamboat, more than just my fly is hooked on you. my hook right out and I knew then that she'd planned this from the start she flipped me off with her tail and I cried in my lucky fishing hat cause she caught and never did release my heart little miss cutthroat you're the queen of my drift boat 
You swam into my life today Straight out of the blue A Little Miss Cutthroat My Yellowstone dreamboat Don't you know I'm hooked on Little Miss Cutthroat The queen of my drift boat You swam into my life today Straight out of the blue A Little Miss Cutthroat My Yellowstone dreamboat More than just my fly is hooked on you Got a secret that no one knows.